Creating your reference list in APA 7th edition style. The reference list at the end of your paper provides the information necessary for your reader to identify and retrieve each work you cited in the text. The basic setup or overall format of your reference page is pretty straightforward. The word references is centered at the top of the page. The whole page is double-spaced and every reference entry that wraps onto more than one line has a hanging indent. Reference entries are in alphabetical order by the author's last name or the first full word of the title if there is no author listed, but more on that later. You can use the Paragraph Settings dialog box to set the hanging indents and line spacing. There are no extra spaces between paragraphs. Or you can hold down the control key while pressing the tab key to create a hanging indent while typing in your reference list entry. There are four key pieces of information you need to know about each work you cite in your paper. The author, the title, the date, and where it was published, or the source. These are the building blocks of every single citation. In APA style, author names are listed last name first, followed by a comma, and then the first initial. Dates are usually just the year, unless specified for the type of material you're citing. Book titles are italicized, while article titles are not. Titles have only the first word and any proper nouns capitalized. All other words are lowercase. First words of subtitles are capitalized as well. Your source, if it is electronic, can have a sub-building block, which is the DOI or URL. The DOI is a unique number assigned to a digital item. DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier and is similar to an ISBN or International Standard Book Number that you will find on most physical books. The URL is the Uniform Resource Locator or web address where you located the item. Once you know these building blocks, building an APA citation is easy. You just plug the blocks into the pattern where APA tells you to. Let's start with a basic article citation. You're going to be citing a lot of articles. You start with the author, last name first, followed by a comma, then first initial, period. Then the date of the article in parentheses, followed by a period. Then the title of the article in regular font with the first word of the title and the first word of the subtitle, and any proper nouns, the only words capitalized, followed by a period. Then the source information. In the case of the article from a print journal, that is the journal name followed by a comma, then the journal edition number with the issue number in parentheses, followed by a comma, then the page numbers of the article in the journal, followed by a period. The same article retrieved from a library database has exactly the same citation up until the source information. After the page numbers, there is the URL, in this case, or the DOI if one had been provided. Let's talk about database URLs. Library databases are subscription products, and you don't have access to them except through the library's subscription. Your reader may not have access to the same databases you have access to. Using the URL in your browser's location bar will not take your reader to the article you're viewing in the database, even if they have a subscription. Subscription database products are hidden under so many layers of proxy servers and security that most databases provide permalinks for the convenience of their subscribers. Use the permalink whenever possible in your reference list citation. Depending upon the database, you may have to look around to find the permalink, but it should be there somewhere. Also, the permalink is much shorter than the URL in the browser location bar. A basic book citation is easy. Your building blocks are in the same order as those for the article citation. Author, date, title, source. Remember, though, to put the book title in italics. And if the book is an ebook, add the URL or DOI after the publisher's name. Oh, did I forget to say that the source information for a book is the publisher's name rather than the journal name? Sometimes you'll have a source for which all of the information is not available. Sometimes we find really good database articles with no author attributed, or no date available, or a really old book with no publication date. Here's how you do that in APA 7 style. If there's no author available, you move the title up into the author's place. So the building blocks in that citation would be in the order of title, date, source. In the case of no date being available, use the abbreviation N period D period to stand for no date in parentheses, where the date would normally go. 
See, I told you we'd get to that part. So what about films or media? Well, again, that's fairly easy. In the case of a film, the director should be credited as the author, but designate them as director in parentheses after their name. Also, after the title, which is in regular font, put the word film in square brackets followed by a period, and the source information for a film is the studio. For a YouTube or other streaming video, put the word video in square brackets followed by a period after the title. If you use auto-generated database citations, oh yes, the library databases will format citations for you, and they do a pretty good job, or an online citation generator. Make sure you check those citations against a reputable source to make sure they're correct before turning your paper in. After all, those people aren't getting a grade for those citations, but you are. For more citation help, see the Publication Manual of the American Psychological Association 7th Edition at any library reference desk or on reserve at your campus library. Also check out our Citation Research Guide. San Jacinto College librarians are always willing to help. Just ask a librarian.